get another power station. Imagine that. And this one's bigger. It is. It's pretty big. It's definitely bigger than the last one we got. This is uh, 2,000 watt hours of battery and the inverter is pure sine wave, 2,000 watts of output. Wow. I yeah. mean, the other one was pretty big and it did a lot of things. So I'm actually curious to see what this will do that that one could not do. Yeah, let's open it up. Okay. Definitely bigger. Yep, I had to handle right at the top. That's does, nice. Does it weigh more? Yeah, it's heavy. It's got 31% charge right out of the box. Yeah, that's not too bad. I mean, the no. other one had a little bit more, but I really don't expect these to have anything. Yeah, I don't expect it to have 100% <laughs> charge. Now, something I already love about this, love, love, is that all the power cables are stored in the top. And... Ah. There's no power brick. Okay. So this is all you need to charge it, is this. So you plug this into the wall when it needs yeah. to recharge. Yeah. Hm. Having that power brick kind of sucks. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, yeah. And this has um, what they call a quick charge too. When you plug it into the wall, it will charge in less than two hours. Hmm. Yeah, to 100%. That's kind of impressive. So we're going to test that. We're going to see how long it takes for it to get to 100%. Sounds At 31%, good. it should be pretty quick yeah it does have a you know a nice display speaking of that this is one of my favorite things to do in the whole world oh, look at him go oh. so much satisfaction mikey <laughs> yes there's a lot there <laughs> but yeah you got the power button right there really nice looking screen i like the yeah we the got layout. as far as outputs go we got like your 12 volt accessory port this is uh an xt60 which These are 10 amps. You got barrel connectors, 3 amps. You got USB ports. And you got quick charge USB and USB C at 100 watts. That's what we charge our phones off of is the USB C ports. And you got a light. Oh. And then they press it again, does That's SOS, strong. and then it does do it oh again. Oh my gosh, it does do SOS. Just a strobe. Just a strobe. I don't yeah. know. And then that should be... Anyone who's ever used a strobe? Have Have you ever needed a strobe light? Mm, no. No. SOS but it's is, there. SOS is kind of nice. That was a nice touch. I will say that. Right. If people know Morse code. I know about that much Morse code yeah. just from being a ham. At one time, I knew the whole alphabet in Morse code. But it's one of those things that if you don't use it, you lose it and yeah. it's gone. Yeah, I went poof poof. <laughs> now on this side. Okay. Oh. More, more, oh geez. Six outlets. And here's a fun little fact. See that little notch in the side? Yes. That means it's a 20 amp outlet. <laughs> if there's no notch, it's 15 amps. Gotcha, wow. If you ever seen a true, let me get you, I've got a true 20 amp cord. This is a true 20 amp extension cord. Just look at the plug. Yeah. That's how you know it's a 20 amp cord versus a 15 amp cord. So this should, yep. Plugs right in. Huh. But then it also accepts your normal regular amp cord too. That's nice. On the other side, what do we got? Power input. This is where you will charge it. Oh, okay. So that's where the charger cord goes. And this is an Anderson plug. This is where you can plug in solar panels. Oh, okay. We have also you can plug in 12 volts from your car. Okay. And you can charge it through your 12 volt in your car. And then this is for your solar panel input. These plug into the solar panels. This plugs into the port on the side. Okay. Obviously, solar panels would charge it more slowly, but you, you have that option. Yeah, it's always we, good to have options. We still have our 60-watt panel. We'll throw it on there, and we'll see what it can do. It's, right. I mean, it's not going to be fast, obviously, but... No, but I'm, I'm super curious now to plug this into the wall and do the quick charge. Yeah, we'll time it. The time is... 12.50. Let's see if we can get this charged in less than two hours. Okay. I saw the little power thing lit up. It's making noise. It made noises. Oh. It's doing things. It says supercharge. Huh. 
Okay. And you can see the input watts coming up. I think it charges at 1100 watts. I like how it cycles through the minutes. Yeah, you can see the minutes are, are dropping. 75 minutes. It's basically Almost at, at that 1100. 1100. Yeah, 1099, that's yeah. pretty much it. 74 minutes, we'll see. See, it's at 50%. Oops. And it's 111. Okay. Oh, hit 51. It's charging pretty quick. It is. The time now is 2.05. Okay. And it says, let me make it brighter. 100%, it says there's still three minutes left, but it just hit 100%. Wow. That was quick, like that quick, was quick, quick. I think we should see what we can run off of this. I'm excited to do that. And then we'll take it camping and see what we can do there. Right. Let's put it to the, put it to the true test. What can it do? We're gonna start plugging in some random stuff and see what it'll run. We got this hair dryer, it's 1875 watts. So the inverter in this is 2,000 watts pure sine wave with a peak of 4,000 watts. So it should, should do that should no not problem. Care about this. Now looking at the display, you can see this little symbol right here. That means if the cord is plugged in to charge, so if I unplug this, that goes away. Yep, went away. And now over here where your outlets are, so I'll plug this in just to any outlet, and you hit this button to turn it on. To turn the okay, on. yeah. And now you can see this came up, which means your outlets are on. Oh, okay. And it's kind of nice because when you turn on your different outlets, it has a light on it. Okay, so it lets you know which ones are on. Right, it shows USB and the light is on. I turn it off, something goes, goes out, light goes out. Same thing here, light comes on, and you got your little symbols there for it. Let's do low first. Okay. And we'll go to high. It's working. Oh yeah. This is 1875 watts. It's hot. On here, but on there, it doesn't show 1875. I always wondered if that was accurate because I was like, that seems a bit... That's fake news. Yeah, it seems a bit high. Heat gun, it's like last time. It's on high. That's high? That's high. Doesn't have quite the, the fan, but right. it, man, it's hot, it's hotter. Hot. This is glowing orange. So it's got the, quite a bit more heat than your hair dryer. Yeah, I would this would melt your burn hair. your hair. We're starting to ramp things up a little bit. We brought in the electric log splitter. The big guns. Let's see, let's plug this thing in. Will it do it? Pushing this button starts the electric motor. Let's see if it'll do it. Oh, oh it's doing it. Oh. You know what I think? I need to go grab a piece of wood and try you, and split it. You, it doesn't need to be split, but we're just gonna see if it'll do it. Right. Oh. <laughs> it's doing it, it's doing it. Oh snap, literally. It done did the thing. We're at 99% battery now. Oh, but well, I mean, that's not bad. The that's, that's actually pretty darn impressive that it runs the log splitter. Yeah, the log splitter takes a lot of power. I don't know how much, but you a can lot. hear that motor start to spin up. It's a little slow off of the power station. Yeah. But it doesn't. I mean, yeah, I mean, it does it, blows the fan, makes the noise, cuts the wood. Let's see if we can go bigger. Bringing in the big guns. Yep. We're gonna see if we can weld. Can we win? It's a flat bar. That's not its hottest setting. It did it. Sounded hot. Don't judge my welds, people. This was just to see if the power station could do it. And if you look, the power station is not plugged into power. No, it's not. It would be right the there. Down to 
98. Oh, that ain't bad. We still have pulling uh, 20 watts just from the fan on this thing being on. That's not too bad. Just for running a regular old bead. Just want to see if it will run the welder and it did. It did. <laughs> I'm ready to eat. Well, I am ready to cook. I have my griddle here. I'm gonna use this bad boy again. And the power station. We're gonna test it out. I'm gonna make, as you can see, probably your guess, Philly cheesesteaks. Because those are becoming a very big favorite of ours, that's for sure. This power station should do it without breaking a sweat too. Yeah, it should make it really easy. So let's go ahead and turn it on. Okay. Yeah, turn on the button on the side. I always forget that part. This one. Yep. Okay, it made a beep and the thingy is there. So that means I can turn this bad boy on and guess because when I grill, I just know the flame size. Now look at the output. 1,012 watts. Looks like we're all done. Yes, all done. I'm getting ready to turn this baby off. Just turn it off. And we're down to 73. That's not bad. It was on for quite a while. The bell peppers took a little bit longer than normal to cook on the griddle. So no lid, you know, to yeah. heat in. Whatever you got, Piper wants some of it. She wants all of it. All the num nums, Piper says. Put it in my bowl, in my mouth. We know that the power station will run the griddle. Oh, yeah. Let's see if it'll do the griddle and the coffee pot at the same time. That's on. That's on. Let's turn the coffee pot on. Turn the griddle on. I don't know if it'll do both at the same time. I guess we're gonna find out. It's got 1,800 watts of output. I mean, just doing it. It's still on over here, so. Oh. Yeah. Got blueberry pancakes, bacon, and coffee. Mm -hmm. Breakfast of champions. Coffee's being made. Girl is hot, or getting hotter. Currently, with both going, the battery is down to 89%, but the cooling fan hasn't even come on yet. The fan's on, the little icon comes up, but it's so quiet you can't hear it anyhow. But with the current rate of discharge, we have 44 minutes left. Oh, wow. <laughs> We're <laughs> cranking it out. Yeah, we'll be done long before that. We'll see. It's kind of taking a minute. I guess I gotta make my pancakes, but then the coffee pot would be over. Yeah, coffee is like halfway there. Bacon's looking good. Yep, starting a couple pieces coming on. Coffee's done pretty much. Where are we at? Let's see, 78%. Is that bacon? Awesome. Mm-hmm. I know. <laughs> it smells awesome, huh? Mike? whole plate of bacon pancakes are cooking they mm -hmm. look really good almost done i mean they don't have grill marks in them but <laughs> are we done yep it's last done. pancake and we are sitting at 62 percent battery not bad i mean it's more than half and breakfast is done so if we had a big solar panel we could just plug it in because it is pretty sunny today yeah, on the other side over here. Okay. But it did a good job. It did. This power station has been 
awesome. And we've had fun just plugging things in yeah, and making like them work. Yeah, like playing with it. <laughs> One thing that it does is it acts as a UPS, or an uninterruptible power supply, a.k.a. battery backup. Okay. So what we have right now, we got a chest freezer right here. And we've got a lot of vegetables and a lot of meat Meats. in there. It's just one of our two. Here's Yes, we have a, a, a chest and a right. stand-up freezer. Here's our other one. So I have them both plugged into the power supply, and it's acting as a pass-through right now. You can see right here, it's got input 116 watts, output 116 watts. Right. So what this does, if there's a power loss, it just kicks over to battery power and continues to power our freezers. Okay. It's super nice. Now, something to take note of, yes, it has a 2,000 watt inverter, but when you're using it as a UPS battery backup, it's limited to 1,100 watts. Okay. Because that's what it's limited to on the input okay. is 1,100 watts. Good to know. On the solar, it's limited to 500 watts of maximum input. That's 1,100. Okay, good to know. So I plugged in this light just so you can see that I'm going to interrupt the power. Okay, that's a good way to do it. It's got, it's, with that light on, it's pulling 131 watts right now. It's supposed to switch over to battery power in 10 milliseconds. Is this light too bright at all? No, you're okay. fine. So you may see the light flicker, but you'll see that it stays on. You may even hear the click of the transfer in here. Ready? I'm going to unplug the power. Literally just a slight flicker and a slight click, and right. that was it. And you can see 121 watts of output, zero input. So it's solely, purely on battery power right now. That was very quick. And it's saying 12 hours. Okay. It can run these freezers for 12 hours on battery. That's actually really nice because it's something that we as people who have freezers with a lot of our garden and or purchases that we've had from meats, we want to keep them safe. <laughs> we we don't want to, yeah, we don't want it to go bad. I, I mean, mean, in this one, we've got all kinds. We got chicken, we got burgers, we've got bacon, we got sausage. This one, like I said, we have lots of vegetables. Yeah, this one's actually a lot of, from our garden. You know, we got tomatoes, green beans. You know, and it goes deep. I mean, and there's, clearly, <laughs> there's meat like burger down here in the bottom. Yeah. Overall. I recommend the Alcatel power station. Yeah. I mean, just for the sole fact that it can do this with our freezers actually makes it very valuable to me. Yeah, I may just leave it set up here. I, I think <laughs> like this, this is where it's going to live from now on because I if something happens, the power goes out, I really want our freezers to be safe. I turned the light off and it says 14 hours now. <laughs> <laughs> so it can last slightly longer. <laughs> yeah, so we know it can run a welder. We know it can run freezers. What can, uh, pretty much it can do a it can coffee run maker a, and a griddle. A log splitter, log splitter, coffee pot, griddle at the same time. I think we've, uh, we've, we've made it sweat a little bit. Yeah, at least I think, I think we have. I, I'm actually very impressed and happy that it can keep our freezed items frozen, especially yeah. if we aren't here, if we get a notification that the power went out. Oh my God, what are we gonna do? We can't get home in two hours. We know this bad boy is here keeping our things cold until we can get back. So now I'll plug it back in. You should hear it click that switches back over. Yep. And you can see that it's supercharging to get back up to 100%. I like it. I approve.